Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we are checking out the Bonfire Game Engine. What exactly is the Bonfire Game Engine? Well, it is an engine designed for creating 2D RPGs. As you can see, a demo of it running right now. We have things like on-screen controllers, completely optional. Uh, this will run across a variety of platforms. So this is actually running uh, in my browser right now, but you can also target uh, mobile, desktop, you name it, because this is actually built on top of Flutter and the Flame Framework. We'll explain exactly what both of those things are in just a second. Here you can see a demo of what the game can do so we've got things like it's doing input handling it's got environmental damage so when I go over these spikes we've got drag and droppable objects uh, we have a twin stick shooter kind of setup here so you can see as I point in a particular direction we shoot that way we have a normal attack mode over here and then I believe this guy is going to attack me but it will also trigger a dialogue and then you see here you've got a dialogue type system now this is again being labeled as an RPG style maker but it can create multiple different kind of games so for example here uh, is a top-down style game uh, for you know zombie shooting etc. So obviously you could create this type of game using this engine as well. And then it's got other neat abilities such as here. This is actually creating a random tile based map. Uh, so you can procedurally create your maps or randomly create them however you wish. Uh, like this example right here. And as you see, you've got Z buffer ordering like that. So you do have depth in your maps, but this was procedurally generated or this one over here, which was actually created and using the tiled map uh, system. You'll notice at the top here, we have support for uh, animated sprites here. We got background image support over here. Uh, we have a map map uh, or mini map generator over here uh, and then an overlaid GUI layer there as well. So there is a ton of kind of games that you can create using this engine. Uh, so again, it is called Bonfire. It is labeled as being an RPG maker, uh, but realistically, it's a 2D game engine. Now, this is actually built on top of, as I mentioned earlier on, the Flame Game Framework, and on top of that, it's using Flutter. Now, Flutter is not a programming language. The language behind Flutter is something called Dart, uh, but Flutter is a cross-platform app development system. The uh, whole idea is basically that whole, you know, holy grail of write once, one on, run on many platforms. And from my understanding is they do a pretty good job of it. Now, this is a Google project, which means it could probably take a bullet at any point in time when Google gets bored of it. Now, the nice thing is it is also incredibly open source. There is a large community behind it. A number of people are using it. So even if Google get bored, it is going to continue to be developed. And again, behind the scenes, it is using the Dart programming language. Dart is kind of like uh, TypeScript. Uh, now, the languages are functionally quite different, but they are out to so solve the same problem. And that problem is JavaScript sucked. Let's make a better JavaScript. Uh, and that's kind of what Dart and TypeScript were all about, at least initially. Now, this is built on top of the Flame. Uh, this is a, a game engine, but technically, this is more of a framework. This is along the lines of, say, um, SDL, SFML, LibGDX, that kind of functionality. Uh, it, but it provides most of what you need to create a game, things like input handling, uh, particle effects, collision, uh, rendering special effects, sprites, text, timers, widgets. Uh, so the kind of things that you need to create a game using Flutter are available in Flame. And then ultimately Bonfire builds the game systems over top of it. Now you'll notice actually when you come to the Bonfire webpage, you're actually at the documentation. So you can look down the side here, you can see the kind of things that are provided for you. So uh, we got the basic overview. Flood, it, the Bonfire itself is implemented as a widget. Uh, so in terms of a Flutter widget, you see here how it is being actually instantiated here. Uh, pretty straightforward approach. And uh, then we've got a number of different things predefined. So we've got things like uh, the map that you can, again, load from the tiled open source map editor. Decorations, which are things in your world. NPCs, enemies, players, objects, lighting effects, game interface, joystick support, collisions, gestures, cameras, sensors, mix-ins, uh, which is sort of like a, an extension-y system. So you can add new behavior, sort of like... Um, inheritance uh, kind of approach. Uh, and you see here, there are a number of different mix-ins available here as well, things like sensors. So if you wanted to add something in your world uh, that was say causing damage, like these spikes right here, those were implemented using a sensor. Uh, so you can see here how they're implemented. And this is kind of what Dart looks like, by the way, in Flutter. Now it's got that uh, bracket soup kind of thing going on, which I'm not really a gigantic fan of, but uh, if you're used to working with Flutter and you want to create this kind of game, it's providing a number of the systems for you. Uh, also, you'll notice if you come to the documentation and you go all the way to the bottom, you're going to notice there's a number of different examples available. So some of these you can run uh, directly in your browser. Some of them are in development available on uh, various different Play Stores. So for example, this one, you can run it directly here in the browser. Uh, this one shows you how you can actually do uh, multiplayer using socket.io. Um, and then we head on down here to the bottom. 
And we got, again, another one. This one is available on GitHub as well. You can check it out in the browser here. Uh, and then even they've implemented Pac-Man. And to be honest, it's a pretty solid implementation of Pac-Man, uh, like so. Although I find the keyboard controls are, are fairly awful. But as it gives you an idea, you can quite easily create just about any style of game that you wish using this, as long as it's, I guess, supposedly 2D. All of these, by the way, have source code available, or all the ones that have a GitHub link have the source code available if you want to go and check them out. Uh, head on into the lib folder here. And then you'll find main.dart. Uh, this is your kind of entry point where the app is being set up. Uh, as again, it's ultimately a single widget that is the controller for things. So you're building the widget. And when I was talking earlier about bracket soup, if you've done any JSON program, you know what I'm talking about. It's basically this nested creation inside of creation inside of creation. I Again, I, I'm not really that keen on it because I find that I spend more time hunting down missing brackets and commas than I do actually coding. Uh, but this does seem to be a bit more of the way the world is going. I'm curious to hear what you think of this approach to um, code organization. Again, Node really Node in JavaScript and JSON really pushed uh, this way forward, and Flutter absolutely loves it. But I'm curious what your opinion of it is. Do you find it to be bracket soup, or do you find it to be nice organization? As you see, everything is broken down into various different things. So for example, the ghosts in this game, you want to see how they're implemented. Just go into enemy, go into ghost, and you can see this is the logic controlling the ghost. It's very clean and simple to understand. So even if you don't know the Dart language or you know any of the underlying frameworks, how to use Flutter, etc., uh, this is really quite simple to, to get to terms with. Uh, and again, it, the extent of the Flutter that you need to know really is zero because ultimately everything is implemented uh, as widgets and the game itself is a widget that you are creating. So you see here your ultimate return type here was you're, you are creating a widget of that's what um, the whole bonfire thing is implemented as is ultimately a widget uh, in the end. Uh, so uh, that is kind of uh, the framework. Again, you can create a number of different examples that showcase what this engine is capable of. Um, I do think it's interesting. Um, it, it's again, if you are trying to work in that space, if you want to use uh, Flutter and Flame and Dart for your game development, this is implementing a lot of the systems that you would no doubt have to implement yourself. Uh, the other nice thing is, again, it is completely open source. Uh, so it's under the MIT code license. It is available up on GitHub. Uh, it is updated reasonably fast. See if there's another branch going on here, the development branch last updated yesterday. So um, it, it is definitely under active development as our flame and flutter gets new updates two or three times a year. Uh, Flutter's got some improvements going on too. It, it's now available on more platforms. They do get um, performance improvements as well. One of those things about Flutter. Flutter used to be built on Skia uh, as the backend rendering system, but I think they actually replaced that with something even faster. Uh, but uh, unlike something like Node um, or where your Electron where you're running in a browser, depending on the browser dependencies, this is actually using a C++ customized uh, rendering layer in the back end. So you should get decent performance across all of the various different platforms that Flutter runs on. Uh, so let me know what you think of Flutter, of Flame, of uh, Bonfire, of all of these things. Uh, comments down below. I'll talk to you all later and goodbye.